Lesson 4. Welcome to Lesson 4 of the Food Handler Safety Course, provided by Texas Best Food Services Training. This lesson will provide instruction in preventing cross-contamination from occurring. Definitions, cross-contamination, the passing of bacteria, microorganisms, or other harmful substances directly or indirectly form one item of concern to another through improper or unsterilized equipment, procedures, or products. Clean, free from dirt, unsoiled, unstained, and free from foreign or extraneous matter. Sanitization, the application of heat or chemicals on clean food contact surfaces, that when evaluated, is sufficient to reduce by 99.999% disease causing microorganisms of public health importance. Preventing food and ingredient contamination, packaged and unpackaged food, separation, packaging, and segregation. Food shall be protected from cross-contamination by separating raw animal foods during storage, preparation, holding, and display from raw ready-to-eat food including other raw animal foods such as fish for sushi or molluscan shellfish, or other raw ready-to-eat food such as vegetables and cooked ready-to-eat food, frozen, commercially processed and packaged raw animal food may be stored or displayed with or above frozen, commercially processed and packaged, ready-to-eat food. Except when combined as ingredients, separating types of raw animal foods from each other such as beef, fish, lamb, pork and poultry during storage, preparation, holding, and display by, using separate equipment for each type or arranging each type of food in equipment so that cross-contamination of one type with another is prevented, and preparing each type of food at different times or in separate areas, cleaning equipment and utensils and sanitizing as specified. Storing the food in packages, covered containers, or wrappings. Cleaning hermetically sealed containers of food of visible soil before opening, protecting food containers that are received packaged together in a case or overwrap from cuts when the case or overwrap is opened. Products that are held by the permit holder for credit, redemption, or return to the distributor, such as damaged, spoiled, or recalled products, shall be segregated and held in designated areas that are separated from food, equipment, utensils, linens, and single service and single use articles. Separating fruits and vegetables, before they are washed from ready-to-eat food. The following does not have to be stored in packages, covered containers or wrappings, whole, uncut, raw fruits and vegetables and nuts in the shell, that require peeling or hulling before consumption, primal cuts, quarters, or sides of raw meat or slab bacon that are hung on clean, sanitized hooks or placed on clean, sanitized racks, whole, uncut, processed meats such as country hams, and smoked or cured sausages that are placed on clean, sanitized racks, food being cooled. Shell stock. Food storage containers, identified with common name of food. Except for containers holding food that can be readily and unmistakably recognized such as dry pasta, Working containers holding food or food ingredients that are removed from their original packages for use in the food establishment, such as cooking oils, flour, herbs, potato flakes, salt, spices, and sugar shall be identified with the common name of the food. Pasteurized eggs, substitute for raw shell eggs for certain recipes. Pasteurized eggs or egg products shall be substituted for raw shell eggs in the preparation of foods such as Caesar salad, hollandaise or bearnaise sauce, mayonnaise, meringue, eggnog, ice cream, and egg-fortified beverages that do not require cooking. Protection from unapproved or unsafe food or color additives or unsafe levels of food or color additives. A food employee may not. Apply sulfiting agents to fresh fruits and vegetables intended for raw consumption or to a food considered to be a good source of vitamin B, one except for grapes, serve or sell food that is treated with sulfiting agents before receipt by the food establishment. Sulfites are used in fruits to prevent browning. Washing fruits and vegetables. Except for whole, 
raw fruits and vegetables that are intended for washing by the consumer before consumption, raw fruits and vegetables shall be thoroughly washed in water to remove soil and other contaminants before being cut, combined with other ingredients, cooked, served, or offered for human consumption in ready-to-eat form. Fruits and vegetables may be washed by using chemicals. Devices used for on-site generation of chemicals meeting the requirements specified in 21 CFR 173.315, chemicals used in the washing or to assist in the peeling of fruits and vegetables, for the washing of raw, whole fruits and vegetables shall be used in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Preventing contamination from ice used as as a coolant. Ice used as exterior coolant, prohibited as ingredient. After use as a medium for cooling the exterior surfaces of food such as melons or fish, packaged foods such as canned beverages, or cooling coils and tubes of equipment, ice may not be used as food. Storage or display of food in contact with water or ice. Packaged food may not be stored in direct contact with ice or water if the food is subject to the entry of water because of the nature of its packaging, wrapping, or container or its positioning in the ice or water. Except as specified in paragraphs, 3, and, 4, of this subsection, unpackaged food may not be stored in direct contact with undrained ice. Whole, raw fruits or vegetables, cut, Raw vegetables such as celery or carrot sticks or cut potatoes, and tofu may be immersed in ice or water. Raw chicken and raw fish that are received immersed in ice in shipping containers may remain in that condition while in storage awaiting preparation, display, service, or sale. Preventing contamination from equipment, utensils, and linens. Food shall only contact surfaces of equipment and utensils that are cleaned as specified under 228.113. 228.118 Single service and single use articles Linens, such as cloth napkins, that are laundered properly. In use utensils, between use storage. During pauses in food preparation or dispensing, food preparation and dispensing utensils shall be stored, in the food with their handles above the top of the food and the container, in food that is not time temperature controlled for safety with their handles above the top of the food within containers or equipment that can be closed, such as bins of sugar, flour, or cinnamon, on a clean portion of the food preparation table or cooking equipment only if the in-use utensil and the food contact surface of the food preparation table or cooking equipment are cleaned and sanitized properly. In running water of sufficient velocity to flush particulates to the drain, if used with moist food such as ice cream or mashed potatoes, in a clean, protected location if the utensils, such as ice scoops, are used only with a food that is not time, temperature control for safety or in a container of water if the water is maintained at a temperature of at least 135 F and the container is cleaned at a proper frequency. Linens and napkins, use limitation. Linens, such as cloth napkins, may not be used in contact with food unless they are used to line a container for the service of foods and the linens and napkins are replaced each time the container is refilled for a new consumer. Wiping cloths, use limitation. Cloths in use for wiping food spills from tableware and carry out containers that occur as food is being served shall be, maintained dry and used for no other purpose. Cloths in use for wiping counters and other equipment surfaces shall be, held between uses in a chemical sanitizer solution at the proper concentration, and laundered daily. Cloths in use for wiping surfaces in contact with raw animal foods shall be kept separate from cloths used for other purposes. Dry wiping cloths and the chemical sanitizing solutions specified in paragraph, 2, a of this subsection in which wet wiping cloths are held between uses shall be free of food debris and visible soil. Containers of chemical sanitizing solutions in which wet wiping cloths are held between uses shall be stored off the floor and used in a manner that prevents contamination of food, equipment, utensils, linens, single service, 
or single-use articles. Single-use disposable sanitizer wipes shall be used in accordance with EPA-approved manufacturer's label use instructions. Gloves, use limitation. If used, single-use gloves shall be used for only one task such as working with ready-to-eat food or with raw animal food, used for no other purpose, and discarded when damaged or soiled, or when interruptions occur in the operation. Except as specified in the paragraph below, slash resistant gloves that are used to protect the hands during operations requiring cutting shall be used in direct contact only with food that is subsequently cooked such as frozen food or a primal cut of meat. Slash resistant gloves may be used with ready-to-eat food that will not be subsequently cooked if the slash resistant gloves have a smooth, durable and non-absorbent outer surface, or if the slash resistant gloves are covered with a smooth, durable, non-absorbent glove, or a single-use glove. Cloth gloves may not be used in direct contact with food unless the food is subsequently cooked such as frozen food or a primal cut of meat. Using clean tableware for second portions and refills. Except for refilling a consumer's drinking cup or container without contact between the pouring utensil and the lip contact area of the drinking cup or container, food employees may not use tableware, including single-service articles, soiled by the consumer, to provide second portions or refills. Self-service consumers may not be allowed to use soiled tableware, including single-service articles, to obtain additional food from the display and serving equipment. A card, sign, or other effective means of notification shall be displayed to notify consumers that clean tableware is to be used upon return to self-service areas such as salad bars and buffets. Drinking cups and containers may be reused by self-service consumers if refilling is a contamination-free process refilling returnables. Empty containers returned to a food establishment for cleaning and refilling with food shall be cleaned and refilled in a regulated food processing plant. A take-home food container returned to a food establishment may be refilled at the food establishment with food if the food container is, designed and constructed for reuse. One that was initially provided by the food establishment to the consumer, either empty or filled with food by the food establishment, for being returned for reuse returned to the food establishment by the consumer after use. Subject to the following steps before being refilled with food, cleaned and sanitized. Visually inspected by the food establishment a take-home food container returned to a food establishment may be refilled at a food establishment with beverage if, the beverage is not a time, temperature control for safety food, the design of the container and of the rinsing equipment and the nature of the beverage. When considered together, allow effective cleaning at home or in the food establishment. Facilities for rinsing before refilling returned containers with fresh, hot water that is under pressure and not recirculated are provided as part of the dispensing system. The consumer-owned container returned to the food establishment for refilling is refilled for sale or service only to the same consumer and the container is refilled by an employee of the food establishment or the owner of the container if the beverage system includes a contamination-free transfer process that cannot be bypassed by the container owner. Consumer-owned, personal take-out beverage containers, such as thermally insulated bottles, no-spill coffee cups, and promotional beverage glasses, may be refilled by employees or the consumer if refilling is a contamination-free process. Consumer-owned containers that are not food-specific may be filled at a water vending machine or system. Preventing contamination from the premises. Food storage. Except as specified in paragraphs, 2, and, 3, of this subsection, food shall be protected from contamination by storing the food, in a clean, dry location, where it is not exposed to splash, dust or other contamination and at least 6 inches above the floor. Food in packages and working containers may be stored less 6 inches above the floor on case lot handling equipment. Pressurized beverage containers, cased food in waterproof containers such as bottles or cans, 
and milk containers in plastic crates may be stored on a floor that is clean and not exposed to floor moisture. Food Storage, Prohibited Areas Food may not be stored, in locker rooms, in toilet rooms, in dressing rooms, in garbage rooms, in mechanical rooms. Under sewer lines that are not shielded to intercept potential drips, under leaking water lines, including leaking automatic fire sprinkler heads, or under lines on which water has condensed under open stairwells, or under other sources of contamination. TCS food dispensed through a vending machine shall be in the package in which it was placed at the food establishment or food processing plant at which it was prepared. During preparation, unpackaged food shall be protected from environmental sources of contamination. Preventing Contamination by Consumers Food Display Except for nuts in the shell and whole, raw fruits and vegetables that are intended for hulling, peeling, or washing by the consumer before consumption, food on display shall be protected from contamination using packaging, counter, service line, or salad bar food guards, display cases, or other effective means. Condiments, Protection Condiments shall be protected from contamination by being kept in dispensers that are designed to provide protection, protected food displays provided with the proper utensils, original containers designed for dispensing, or individual packages or portions. Condiments at a vending machine location shall be in individual packages or provided in dispensers that are filled at an approved location, such as the food establishment that provides food to the vending machine location, a food processing plant that is regulated by the agency that has jurisdiction over the operation, or a properly equipped facility that is located on the site of the vending machine location. Consumer Self-Service Operations Raw, unpackaged animal food, such as beef, lamb, pork, poultry, and fish may not be offered for consumer self-service. This paragraph does not apply to consumer self-service of ready-to-eat foods at buffets or salad bars that serve foods such as sushi or raw shellfish. Ready-to-cook individual portions for immediate cooking and consumption on the premises such as consumer cooked meats or consumer selected ingredients for Mongolian barbecue, or raw, frozen, shell-on shrimp or lobster. Consumer self-service operations for ready-to-eat foods shall be provided with suitable utensils or effective dispensing methods that protect the food from contamination. Consumer self-service operations such as buffets and salad bars shall be monitored by food employees trained in safe operating procedures. Return food and reservice of food. Except as specified in the paragraph below, after being served or sold and in the possession of a consumer, food that is unused or returned by the consumer may not be offered as food for human consumption. A container of food that is not time-slash-temperature controlled for safety may be reserved from one consumer to another if, the food is dispensed so that it is protected from contamination and the container is closed between uses, such as a narrow-neck bottle containing catsup, steak sauce, or wine, or the food, such as crackers, salt, or pepper, is in an unopened original package and is maintained in sound condition. Food shall be protected from contamination that may result from a factor not identified in this section. Storage and separation. Poisonous or toxic materials shall be stored so they cannot contaminate food, equipment, utensils, linens, and single-service and single-use articles by separating the poisonous or toxic materials by spacing or partitioning and Locating the poisonous or toxic materials in an area that is not above food, equipment, utensils, linens, and single-service or single-use articles. This paragraph does not apply to equipment and utensil cleaners and sanitizers that are stored in wear washing areas for availability and convenience if the materials are stored to prevent contamination of food, equipment, utensils, linens, and single-service and single-use article food. Allergens Each year millions of Americans have allergic reactions to food. Although most food allergies cause relatively mild and minor symptoms, some food allergies can cause severe reactions, and may even be life-threatening. There is no cure for food allergies. Strict avoidance of food allergens, 
and early recognition and management of allergic reactions to food, are important measures to prevent serious health consequences. Following ingestion of a food allergen or allergens, a person with food allergies can experience a severe, life-threatening allergic reaction called anaphylaxis. This can lead to, constricted airways in the lungs, severe lowering of blood pressure and shock, anaphylactic shock, suffocation by swelling of the throat. 32 Major Food Allergens While more than 160 foods can cause allergic reactions in people with food allergies, the law identifies the eight most common allergenic foods. These foods account for 90% of food allergic reactions, and are the food sources from which many other ingredients are derived. The eight foods identified by the law are, milk and eggs, fish, such as bass, flounder, cod, and crustacean shellfish, such as crab, lobster, and shrimp, tree nuts, almonds, walnuts, pecans, and peanuts. Wheat and soybeans These eight foods, and any ingredient that contains protein derived from one or more of them, are designated as major food allergens. Know the symptoms. Symptoms of food allergies typically appear from within a few minutes to two hours after a person has eaten the food to which he or she is allergic. Allergic reactions can include, hives, flushed skin, or rash, tingling or itchy sensation in the mouth, face, tongue, or lip swelling, vomiting and slash or diarrhea. Abdominal cramps coughing or wheezing, dizziness and slash or lightheadedness swelling of the throat and vocal cords, difficulty breathing, loss of consciousness. What to do if symptoms occur? The appearance of symptoms after eating food may be a sign of a food allergy. The food that caused these symptoms should be avoided, and the affected person, should contact a doctor or health care provider for appropriate testing and evaluation. End of Lesson 4 you are encouraged to download this lesson as a PDF for study and reference.